Kirilink will inbound with 37 seconds to play. Jazz down by eight. Need a quick bucket. Darren, the double pump. Dump it off to Millsap. Back to Darren. 20 on the shot clock. Back to Millsap. Wants three. Fires it up. Why not, Paul hey. Millsap? Why not tonight? 36 to add to his career high. Millsap. You know, Coach Sloan's over there wondering the same thing we are. Arroyo with two big free throws, 101-96, 17 seconds. The spinner, Millsap, three. Yes! 39! I mean, you might want to get a hand up. This guy is on fire. Unbelievable. The ball's not even touching the rim. It's going straight through the net. Far behind. All right, here we go. Buckle up one more time. Ten seconds on the clock. D. Will pops out. Arroyo on him. He'll take the... Nope, he gives it off to Paul. One more three in him. No! Can you believe that? <laughs> one point game. At three for three from downtown. And I know I'm supposed to give you the call on this when they make shots, but I get excited too, Bowler Jack, so I gotta, I gotta apologize. No, no apology, my friend. You're a rookie. This is unbelievable, though. But the Jazz are in a fight. 103-102. The pick and roll situation. Andre Karolinko will set. Millsap with a career night of 42. Andre with 3.4. Fires a CJ. Looking for three. Short. Rebound. Millsap. Oh, yes! We are going to overtime at the buzzer! There's that man! Millsap follows up with an offensive rebound and put back. I hope you don't wake up from this dream of a night. A career night. He continues to add to the total of 44. And he definitely beat the shot clock. There will be no question about that. This is going to overtime. Second overtime game in a row for the Utah Jazz. At the buzzer, Millsap, the follow-up, and oh yeah, he knows it. He knows it. Paul, you can pound your chest if.